A terrestrial planet, telluric planet, or rocky planet is a planet that is composed primarily of silicate rocks or metals. Within the Solar System, the terrestrial planets are the inner planets closest to the Sun, i.e. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The terms, "...terrestrial planet", and "...telluric planet", are derived from Latin words for Earth terra and tellus, as these planets are, in terms of structure, "...earth-like". These planets are located between the Sun and the asteroid belt. Terrestrial planets have a solid planetary surface, making them substantially different from the larger giant planets, which are composed mostly of some combination of hydrogen, helium, and water existing in various physical states. Topic: <laughs> Structure All terrestrial planets in the Solar System have the same basic type of structure, such as a central metallic core, mostly iron, with a surrounding silicate mantle. The Moon is similar, but has a much smaller iron core. Io and Europa are also satellites that have internal structures similar to that of terrestrial planets. Terrestrial planets can have canyons, craters, mountains, volcanoes, and other surface structures, depending on the presence of water and tectonic activity. Terrestrial planets have secondary atmospheres, generated through volcanism or comet impacts, in contrast to the giant planets, whose atmospheres are primary, captured directly from the original solar nebula. Topic: Solar System's terrestrial planets. The Solar System has four terrestrial planets: Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Only one terrestrial planet, Earth, is known to have an active hydrosphere. During the formation of the Solar System, there were probably many more terrestrial planetesimals, but most merged with or were ejected by the four terrestrial planets. Dwarf planets, such as Ceres, Pluto and Eris, and small Solar System bodies are similar to terrestrial planets in the fact that they do have a solid surface, but are, on average, composed of more icy materials Ceres, Pluto and Eris have densities of 2.17, 1.87 and 2.52 g cm-3, respectively, and Haumea's density is similar to Pallas's 2.8 g cm-3. The Earth's Moon has a density of 3.4 g cm-3 and Jupiter's satellites, Io, 3.528 and Europa, 3.013 g cm-3. Other satellites typically have densities less than 2 g cm-3. Topic: Density trends. The uncompressed density of a terrestrial planet is the average density its materials would have at zero pressure. A greater uncompressed density indicates greater metal content. Uncompressed density differs from the true average density, also often called bulk density because compression within planet cores increases their density the average density depends on planet size temperature distribution and material stiffness as well as composition the uncompressed density of terrestrial planets trends towards lower values as the distance from the sun increases the rocky minor planet Vesta orbiting outside of Mars is less dense than Mars still at, 3.4 g cm-3. Calculations to estimate uncompressed density inherently require a model of the planet's structure. Where there have been landers or multiple orbiting spacecraft, these models are constrained by seismological data and also moment of inertia data derived from the spacecraft orbits. 
where such data is not available, uncertainties are inevitably higher. It is unknown, whether extrasolar terrestrial planets in general will show to follow this trend. Extrasolar terrestrial planets Most of the planets discovered outside the solar system are giant planets, because they are more easily detectable. But since 2005, hundreds of potentially terrestrial extrasolar planets have been found, with several being confirmed as terrestrial. Most of these are super-Earths, i.e. planets with masses between Earths and Neptunes. Super-Earths may be gas planets or terrestrial, depending on their mass and other parameters. During the early 1990s, the first extrasolar planets were discovered orbiting the pulsar PSR B1257 plus 12, with masses of 0.02, 4.3, and 3.9 times that of Earth's, by pulsar timing. When 51 Pegasi b, the first planet found around a star still undergoing fusion, was discovered, many astronomers assumed it to be a gigantic terrestrial, because it was assumed no gas giant could exist as close to its star as 51 Pegasi b did. It was later found to be a gas giant. In 2005, the first planets around main sequence stars that may be terrestrial were found. Gliese 876 d has a mass seven to nine times that of Earth and an orbital period of just two Earth days. It orbits the red dwarf Gliese 876, 15 light years from Earth. OGLE 2005 BLG 390 pound, about 5.5 times the mass of Earth, orbits a star about 21,000 light years away in the constellation Scorpius. From 2007 to 2010, three possibly four potential terrestrial planets were found orbiting within the Gliese 581 planetary system. The smallest, Gliese 581e, is only about 1.9 Earth mass, but orbits very close to the star. An ideal terrestrial planet would be two Earth masses with a 25-day orbital period around a red dwarf. Two others, Gliese 581c and Gliese 581d, as well as a disputed planet, Gliese 581 g, are more massive super-Earths orbiting in or close to the habitable zone of the star, so they could potentially be habitable, with Earth-like temperatures. Another possibly terrestrial planet, HD 85512b, was discovered in 2011, it has at least 3.6 times the mass of Earth. The radius and composition of all these planets are unknown. The first confirmed terrestrial exoplanet, Kepler 10b, was found in 2011 by the Kepler mission, specifically designed to discover Earth size planets around other stars using the transit method. In the same year, the Kepler Space Observatory mission team released a list of 1235 extrasolar planet candidates, including six that are Earth size or Super Earth size i.e. they have a radius less than 2 Earth radii and in the habitable zone of their star. Since then, Kepler has discovered hundreds of planets ranging from moon size to super-Earths, with many more candidates in this size range see image. <laughs> List of terrestrial exoplanets The following exoplanets have a density of at least 5 g per cc and a mass below Neptune's and are thus very likely terrestrial. 
Kepler 10b, Kepler 20b, Kepler 36b, Kepler 48d, Kepler 68c, Kepler 78b, Kepler 89b, Kepler 93b, Kepler 97b, Kepler 99b, Kepler 100b, Kepler 101c, Kepler 102b, Kepler 102d, Kepler 113b, Kepler 131b, Kepler 131 C, Kepler 138C, Kepler 406B, Kepler 406C, Kepler 409B. The Neptune mass planet Kepler 10C also has a density greater than 5 g per cc and is thus very likely terrestrial. <laughs> Frequency In 2013, astronomers reported, based on Kepler space mission data, that there could be as many as 40 billion Earth and super-Earth-sized planets orbiting in the habitable zones of Sun-like stars and red dwarfs within the Milky Way. 11 billion of these estimated planets may be orbiting Sun-like stars. The nearest such planet may be 12 light years away, according to the scientists. However, this does not give estimates for the number of extrasolar terrestrial planets, because there are planets as small as Earth that have been shown to be gas planets see Koi 314 c. <laughs> Types. Several possible classifications for terrestrial planets have been proposed Silicate planet The standard type of terrestrial planet seen in the solar system, made primarily of silicon-based rocky mantle with a metallic iron core. Carbon planet also called diamond planet a theoretical class of planets, composed of a metal core surrounded by primarily carbon-based minerals. They may be considered a type of terrestrial planet if the metal content dominates. The solar system contains no carbon planets, but does have carbonaceous asteroids. Iron planet a theoretical type of terrestrial planet that consists almost entirely of iron and therefore has a greater density and a smaller radius than other terrestrial planets of comparable mass. Mercury in the Solar System has a metallic core equal to 60–70% of its planetary mass. Iron planets are thought to form in the high temperature regions close to a star, like Mercury, and if the protoplanetary disk is rich in iron. Corliss planet A theoretical type of terrestrial planet that consists of silicate rock but has no metallic core, i.e. the opposite of an iron planet. Although the solar system contains no coreless planets, chondrite asteroids and meteorites are common in the solar system. Coreless planets are thought to form farther from the star where volatile oxidizing material is more common. See also Thonian planet Earth analog List of potentially habitable exoplanets Planetary habitability Venus zone List of gravitationally rounded objects of the Solar System <laughs>